Good day, AP Biology students. Welcome to video lecture episode 8. Today we're going to finish the last slide in chapter 30 and then move on to chapter 31. The slide should already be posted. Just double check under the classroom tab in Google Classroom. All right, slide 15 says and is titled Humans Modify Crops. Now, they do that through artificial selection of plants for breeding. Now, this is uh, within a field called plant biotechnology, where genetically modified organisms are created. Now, let's talk about some, uh, just two brief examples. We have the golden rice and the Bt corn. The golden rice was engineered to produce beta carotene, that is vitamin A. And you can see that on slide 15 on the left-hand side, the top image there where you see the yellow and the white rice. Um, just a comparison there. Then we also have Bt corn, which is transgenic and expresses Bt, which is bacteria, a particular bacteria gene, which produces protein toxic to insects. So in other words, that the insects wouldn't consume the plants and protect them. Now under also humans modifying crops and under plant biotechnology, we also have biofuels. And biofuels help to produce carbon dioxide emissions. There's biodiesel, which is created by using vegetable oils, and bioethanol, which converts cellulose into ethanol. So let's go ahead and now let's move into chapter 31. On slide 16, you'll see chapter 31 is titled Plant Responses to Internal and External Stimuluses. We just got a couple more slides and then we're going to close this lecture for today. On slide 17, there's just a a visual representation of an experiment with lights and a particular plant called the coleoptile. And so you can just visually see how that looks there. But the conclusion that was reached from this, that should be drawn from this and was reached from this, is that the tip of the coleoptile senses light. Some signal was sent from the tip to the elongating region of the coleoptile. And as a result, you notice how it grew in a certain direction. All right. Um, so let's now move into slide number 18. Cells on darker side elongate faster than cells on brighter side, so that light is affecting how the growth is going. Now, there's a particular chemical messenger that stimulates cell elongation, and that's auxin. Okay, just wanted to mention that so you're aware of that. And now we'll move on to the last uh, slide for today's video lecture, and that's slide number 19. So we have one term to start with, and that's hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers that coordinate different parts of a multicellular organism. Now, some important plant hormones are as follows. There's five of them that we're going to just talk about here. One we have is auxin, which we briefly mentioned on the previous slide, and that stimulates cell elongation, and it's involved with phototropism and gravitropism. High concentrations of herbicides... Um, have a connection to this as well. Now phototropism has to do with light and gravitro gravitropism refers to dealing with gravity. The next one we have is cytokinins, which deals with cell division and cytokinesis and differentiation. We have gibberellins, which stem elongation, leaf growth, germination, flowering, and fruit development are all impacted by that. We have abacitic acid. It slows the growth, closes the mata during water stress and promotes dormancy. And then the last one we have is ethylene, which promotes fruit ripening, positive feedback involved in apoptosis for shedding leaves, death of annuals. So you can see there are these hormones that are important for these plants in these various conditions and circumstances. All right, I do hope this has been helpful. Like I said, if you have any questions or any comments, you can leave them in the comments below. You can always reach out to me via Google messaging. Uh, during my office hours, we can have a one-on-one -on -one chat if there's something you'd like to ask more about, or just send me an email. Have a nice day, and I do hope this was help. This lecture was helpful. Thank you. Goodbye.